Hello everyone, Long Time here, and today we're going to get started in our first of many tier lists. Starting off with the hero and uh, main character of Final Fantasy VII, Cloud Strife. We're going to go over all of his weapons, and just, we're going to tier list them out, and you're going to see just kind of which ones you should build, and which ones, it's not that you shouldn't build them. In my opinion, in this game, you can build a character almost any way that you want that fits the battle that you're about to do. There are so many different enemies that you can make everything work, but certain ones are better in more situations than others. And that's what I want to go over in this tier list so you can really, you really know what you should be building, okay? Let's get into it. So as you can see here, this is our tier list that we're going to be working with. But to start us off, this is my own opinion. Some of you are going to have different opinions based on where I put things on this tier list, and that is okay. Okay, as I said, there's many things that people are going to consider to be important, uh, but this is just, this is my opinion, this is my tier list. We're going to have a couple things that are going to be the criteria, the, the basis for this tier list. First thing, I'm going to consider all the weapons to be level 90 with no overboosts. I'm not going to be taking any team comps into consideration. I'm considering each weapon purely in a vacuum. That We're just considering that weapon in correlation to all the other weapons, nothing else. Outfits may be considered for specific things that may bump them up in the tier list depending on which outfit you have. For any character that I do, I will try and not have any bias as clearly I do have favorite characters, but I'm trying to, again, base each character and their weapon because it, it, this is not as much based on characters for this game. The weapons make the characters. You can use any character you want as long as their weapons are useful in those situations. And with that, let's get started on ranking Cloud's weapons. We're going to start the tier list off with the first weapon we get in the game is the Buster Sword. The Buster Sword is a very, very solid beginner weapon for Cloud. Um, a, we get it for free. We get to be able to build it up. The ability Braver, 4 ATB, 400 physical, uh, non-elemental. And when it does the X sigil, when it breaks that, it does an additional 1.5 damage multiplier, which is, it's extra little bit of damage. Clearly, you're going to use um, your other materia to be able, you're going to be using your ruins to do the sigils as just... Being able to manage your ATB is super important. Uh, boost HP, boost attack if you're going to go physical or magical. Good balance. The material that you get on top of it, attack boost, attack boost, physical attack boost. Um, we're going to go over more of these. Some of these are going to matter a bit more than others, but for this, nothing too special. Uh, for me, I'm going to put the Buster Sword into the B tier. I think it is a great beginner weapon. I think it's I think it's perfectly fine. It is nothing special, um, but yeah, that is where we're starting the tier list. The second one on the tier list is going to be a weapon that I think a lot of people are overlooking, is Iron Blade. Uh, Iron Blade is I consider it actually a really really good weapon. I consider it to be a very good utility weapon for Cloud. Even though Cloud, you're going to mainly want to run him as a heavy DPS. Having access to a full team physical attack down for your enemies. Being able to build that up to a mid, uh, mid potency for only four ATB is is very good. We only get one D Brave in the game, again and again on the tier list. I'm not comparing it to any other characters. So if you do not have many other physical attack downs, this Iron Blade could be very important. It could be your sub weapon for your Cloud and have a better DPS as your first one. Um, the Materia over here, just the stats that you get, this is only affected as when it's your main weapon. So these really aren't going to matter too much as this is a great sub weapon. Physical defense, crit potency, nothing too special here. Um, but for my opinion, for Iron Blades, just for the flexibility and being able to have that nice AoE, Iron Blade for me, again, the tier list as well, this is in no particular order. Um, I, I might rearrange it a little bit at the end once the tier list is completely done uh, throughout the tiers, but I'm putting Iron Blade into A tier because a full team AoE physical attack down is... You're going to notice how important that is when enemies really start to chunk you later on. Next up on the tier ranking is the Mithril Saber. Sure, you may look at the Mithril Saber and you see a nice, flashy, good 500 number right here. Big damage, but it's magic base. Cloud is not truly built. You can make him work. You can make any character work for physical and magical if you really, really want to. Especially building up characters is hard. I would still say you're trying to focus mainly your cloud as a physical damage dealer. So, like the special materia, all that over there, you're, you're, 
you're not getting the value that you need. So for me, I can't put Mithril Saber higher than C tier. Like, it, it, you can make it work. It's just, it's not good enough. It doesn't do what Cloud should be doing. Following the Mithril Saber, we have the Butterfly Edge. The Butterfly Edge here, it is, this is now very much a heavy defense option. Okay, so it's going to increase your physical defense by medium upwards of high. So you need to use it multiple times to be able to stack it up. So this is going to be better than the barrier materia. It's going to cost one extra ATB, and it's also going to cost you one of your weapon slots. You could run this, again, I picture Cloud as a physical damage dealer. So if you're going to run him for support, like, I think that Iron Blade is a much better, like, substat weapon. You can run some other characters that are going to either increase your heal to increase your physical defense or magical defense. So, Butterfly Edge can boost Ice Edge. <laughs> yeah, no, the Butterfly Edge here, it, it can have its uses. The fact that you can get the physical defense up to high makes me still want to put the Butterfly Edge into B tier. It's definitely below Buster Sword as it doesn't complete the... It, it doesn't make him do more damage, especially if you're gonna if you're gonna do damage and break sigils. The Buster Sword sh sure is still slower than the Ruins, but I will still say that Butterfly Edge is better than Mithril Saber. It's definitely a tier above it because the magic defense, the the heal is not what you're going for, but you can maybe keep someone alive when they get locked down and a boss is really targeting them. Just going down the wish list, we're going in order. So here's one that I think a lot of people may disagree with me on: Organics. Originally, when I saw the organics, I'm like, ah, oh, the stun for five seconds, that's good. 400, it's fine. It's 4 ATB, like, that. that's good. A, the rate of the stun applied is already 20%. And any enemy that actually matters, that is going to kick your butt, that you can hope you can stun, chances are it doesn't, it, it's, it's unable to stun. With that... I personally think that Organics is probably the biggest trap weapon for Cloud in the game. Sure, over top of Magic, like if you're going to make a Magic build work, Mithril Saber is going to be better than Organics. If you're going to go for Physical, there are other options that are going to do that job much better. So in my opinion, I think Organics is actually Cloud's biggest trap weapon in the game. Purely for the fact that there's other things that do better physical damage. And if you wanted to run magic, then it doesn't even matter at that point. The magic defense and ice resistance, it's its not enough to save anything. There's two stats. Now, organics is the trap weapon for Cloud, in my opinion. Following the trap that is organics, we have Crystal Sword. With Crystal Sword here, you're again, you're going to think Cloud is not a healer, okay? But as your secondary weapon, you could technically make this work, okay? The healing wave, this is one of, I believe, four weapons that can do a big potency aoe heal like at the 53 potency there that is only three percent less than the Aerith's fairy tale so you could make this work i if if you were to only happen to pull this as your aoe healing you could have cloud you just do big damage and in the scenarios you could have him heal as well okay i don't think this is amazing but i, I still think that this is an okay weapon okay in the in the materia side of things if you're going to be building maybe the magic version, if you're going to be putting this with Mithril Saber and you're going to get a lot of extra magic attack and you're going to build it that way, you could make it work. But I'm going to put Crystal Sword into B tier. I'm going to, you know, we'll reorder as we're going to go along. I will put Crystal Sword ahead of Butterfly Edge purely for the fact that there's not too many AoE heals in the game and you're going to be using Cloud for a little bit of it. That, that's where I'm putting Crystal Sword. We're going to go over now a weapon that some of you might not even know that it exists, which is the Shiva's Blade. The Shiva's Blade you can obtain from doing the trial summons. Okay, once you unlock them, you can farm this. You can you can straight up farm this weapon. It is a possible drop. Not even just... Not even here. It is a potential common drop that you can get. So you can farm this all the way up to five purple. Okay? So we're still basing this entire list over just level 90 no upgrades, no overboost. But eventually, especially for free-to-play, if you can farm something, like we, we, we've all noticed this with Zack's Umbrella so far, it becomes a stat stick. You can either give it to Zack himself, or you can give it to your other characters to try and boost up those HP. Okay, my Aerith and my, my, Aerith and my Cloud now have a lot more HP if I want to give the Umbrella to them as one of their sub-weapons. You're going to need a total of nine sub-weapons 
Three for each character. It doesn't matter who it goes to. This is just a different little tangent beside the tier list. Okay? It's a free-to-play. Build this. Go with this. But in terms of, like, overall power, if every weapon is at the same tier, in my opinion, the Shiva's Blades... I've already partially moved it beforehand. Uh, the Shiva's Blade is behind Enhancing Sword. Because if you're going to go for a magic build, Mithril Saber is going to do higher at the 500%. And, and Enhancing Sword is going to be your AoE. If you have something that's just like double weak to ice, then the Shiva's Blade could be better with the Mithril Saber with the elemental advantage being the stronger single targets. Um, but in terms of just pure power level, it's there. But don't sleep on this if you're free to play down to Cloud's last three weapons. Okay, so in my opinion, the Murasama, Apocalypse, and Hard Edge are Cloud's three best weapons, but they're going to get slotted into four different ways. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Apocalypse. Apocalypse is... If you're not building Murasama, or if you get an Apocalypse, it is his hardest single damaging ability at the 500%. Okay, not upgraded at all. Apocalypse is a very good weapon. Apocalypse is a very, very good weapon. Going for the damage, 4 ATB. If you're going to go for just pure burst, not dealing with any any uh, extra elemental, boosting attack. But the wind potency is a little random, but you know what? That doesn't affect the uh, the value of the Apocalypse. Okay, For me, I'm going to be putting Apocalypse in A+. As it does very, very, very good damage coming through. Um, it's just, it, it's a good weapon. If you pull an Apocalypse and you don't happen to get a Murasame or a Hard Edge, um, or it's just it's the only cloud weapon that you get, keep it. Keep it. Apocalypse is, is definitely A-plus material in comparison to everything else. Because it does what Cloud does best in its physical damage. Murasame over here, specific banner, physical attack, lightning potency, does 400 lightning damage, high. This is where I'm talking about now for the materia. This Sigil Boost. Sigil boost for triangle, so if any boss has a triangle sigil that you have to deal with, Murasame, let alone the Thunder Strike. If something is resistant to Thunder, Murasame's not as good. Just straight up not as good. But anything with this sigil boost is probably my favorite thing to see over on the on, on just when it modifies your materia stats. Okay? It's got great physical attack. Murasami is really, 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 really good. Okay? But still, for that fact, I, I'm I'm still gonna have to put Murasame into like it. I'm putting. Let's put it this way: Murasame without costume. Murasame without the costume. This is also another big thing. 400 lightning. If an enemy is weak to lightning, Murasame jumps up to S tier. Okay. I'm only gonna give one S tier per character. Uh, Murasame jumps up to S. Okay, it may, may be still slightly behind. Okay, actually, it, it's gonna tie. It's gonna tie, and we're gonna show for a reason why in a second. But though Murasami with costume, Murasami with costume bumps up over here. Yeah, if you have Murasami in costume, A plus, by far A plus. And there is a way that it gets up to S tier, which we're gonna go over in a second for the actual S tier for Cloud. Last but not least, we're going to go over the what I consider to be the S tier for Cloud, Hard Edge. Okay, a Hard Edge, that armor break, or any, especially if you're, what is Cloud, what does Cloud do best? Does physical damage, okay? So that Hard Edge, that, that armor break right there, does medium potency on just one cast, and then again up to a high potency of max, like the max high potency, okay? Hard Edge is very good. It does exactly what Cloud wants, and that is make his and his teammates, okay? So let alone a weapon boosting just his own character, you are boosting your entire teammates as well. So in my opinion, that's where Hard Edge comes into S tier. But weapons are flexible in this game, okay? We're putting this in the vacuum in perfect kind of scenarios that if everything works out, Hard Edge is going to be your best weapon out of all of these. If a weapon is immune to physical defense down, okay? Murasame with costume becomes better. If a boss is resistant to lightning and physical defense down, Apocalypse becomes better, okay? But we're putting these in the most ideal type of situations for this tier list is that's what makes Hard Edge the best weapon, in my opinion, for Cloud. And that sums up my tier list for Cloud's weapons. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you have a... Uh... 
How much do you disagree? As I'm going to go over, we're going to be doing this for every single character. We're going to be doing this when new weapons come out. I believe Barrett is going to be the next one. Okay, so you can look forward to that Barrett tier list that should be coming out tomorrow. Weapons in this one, weapons make the character. You can make any of your favorite characters work to a point. Clearly some, you can see, Cloud does not do a lot of magic damage. He's got everything in that C tier, does that magic damage there. He's got one healing sword. He has no way to lower magical defense. Cloud is mainly built to be a physical damage dealer. So look at your character, look what weapons you have, build a team that works for that. But if you want to build Cloud and build everything else around him, these are some really good options for you to pick from. I'm, I'm, I'm pointing in different directions, but you guys know what I mean, okay? Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys over on Twitch, or I'll see you guys in the next video. So don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you like this tier list, or give it a thumbs down, because you know what? Interaction is interaction, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one.